Yeah, really strong on watch point Gibraltar. Just the way that this first point is set up, any kind of stall um, is very useful due to it being heavily attack favored on this first point. And you see most teams just holding up on that platform and then falling back uh, after poking a little bit. So, you know, standard setups here with a Ana Lucio comp from both teams. Yeah, it remains to be seen if they can get... Yeah, there we go. An early pick onto a Lucio. It can halt the offense just a little bit longer because Ana's not great at keeping a whole team up. But when you fall off on the May, maybe you can get picked. Roadhog early with a three-tank comp. They do land the hook. Not going to get the kill, though. And separating Reinhardt out is pretty good. If they can bring him down, Strange going down means that there's only two tanks left and not enough damage to really bring down... Uh, the rest of the team, but they do get two high friends goes down. Roar, roar, roar is now on to the Reinhardt and Swite gets hooked in as well. This Roadhog is landing some massive pulls and it is working out beautifully. Yeah, that was an excellent offense from that team. You saw tons of hooks coming out and getting picks and we saw Roar, roar, roar on that uh, on that Reaper flanking getting some picks. Yeah, it's just it, it is really working out. I mean, they've got the Gravitron uh, pull actually managing to land on three, but they don't actually have any ults to combo with it. So it's just a little bit more stall. And now Swike goes down as well. This is turning very, very bad, very, very quickly. The first point inches away from being captured. And the only one to stall out is this May and the Shadowed Reaper right now. I don't think it's going to last very long, however, and it is a 6v1. They burst a Gravitron field even just to finish it off. Mm -hmm. Now, that was a very strong offense from that team. However, they did use a lot of ultimates. They've got, they're down to just the Reinhardt. So it might be difficult moving into this, a very difficult point, point two on watch point, extremely difficult to push through just due to the height differences. It's very difficult to get a, get the high ground as offense. So we'll see how this pans out, but they're still playing very aggressive. Yeah, it's a, I mean, at this point, it's been a very, very fast offense. I mean, they mm -hmm. spent, what, two minutes and they've already gotten through a whole point. So oh, yeah. At, at this, you got to say, you know, if you don't stop here, where do you really stop it? Because nano boosting um, is right around the corner again. You know that this Ana is going to be looking for something. And uh, the Reaper is going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, so, yes, his ult's finally up. So, with the mail coming down, that means that we might be able to see the Reaper finally. Reinhardt, frozen to death. Is this May? enough though i don't think so because the nano boost is on for their own roadhog and a very big hog is going to go whole the way home Ooh, but it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah um i was honestly expecting that offense to pull it out there that nano boosted roadhog going triple hog there you could even say and <laughs> it just didn't didn't really pan out and that's the difficulty of taking this point is you can't really team wipe the defense because they're always split up. You know, some of them are high, some of them are low. No matter where you commit, there's always people who are going to not get cleaned up. Oh, well, I mean, it's working out so far. Ooh. The Graviton is pretty Graviton. big, and they've actually got some damage. I'm really surprised this damage output is actually massive. Even with the breaking it down, they can't survive very long. This offense mm -hmm. is getting stalled out at every single turn. Swike on that Reinhardt picking up multiple kills in this fight. He's just going in with that hammer. He doesn't care. Um, Zarya too. This defense's tank line is just so strong. UMass. Um, these tanks are just cleaning everything up. And if Columbia doesn't find a way to push through that tank line, I don't think they're going to win. Now, Nano Boost Reaper coming up 40% for Ana. So that might work out for them. But we'll have to see. Two minutes on the clock. Yeah, this Roadhog, it was so, so good on the first point. I mean, it got multiple early picks, but now it seems to have stagnated mm -hmm. a little. I mean, this Reinhardt's always up. Everybody's behind the shield or on a massive flank like High Friends is right now. So he's not landing mm -hmm. the picks that he needs to. I think they need to either swap this pickup or they're going to see that it quickly turns into a very, very bad thing. Yeah, and the triple tank comp usually having issues breaking down Reinhardt shields, so we'll see what happens. 
You know, Nana weird. boosted Reapers into the backline, but May is frozen by her own doing. She's still alive. The wall to separate them off to try and zone them off of the point, but it finally gets shoved in. They land four kills, five kills make that onto the Reinhardt. May, the only one to live through it all, and she's going to be brought down as well. Roar making UMass's life hard as well as our lives hard when we have to say his name, getting four kills in that fight. Oh, an extremely aggressive, extremely forward Gravitron means that the Columbia side is actually going to get very, very far forward, giving them a lot of breathing room on this point. Still two minutes on the clock, still a lot of time left to play with, but mm -hmm. oh, this is getting down to the wire. Columbia, they have the shove, but can they actually make it? They've got only two, three more pushes left. Yeah, they've got a couple hits left, but uh, this choke point, again, very difficult, and Columbia being a very momentum-oriented team, as we've seen earlier. Huge Graviton. Oh, no. Out. There's no Reaper ult. Oh. Oh, the Gravitron. It looked so, so good, but there was no Reaper ult oh. follow-up. There's nothing to be done about it. Mail was not thrown down either, and the nano-boosted Reinhardt is just not enough. Swike goes down. Fault is on. Takes one, but that's just a Lucio. They can only do so much against this Zarya, against this very big triple tank comp. And Swike on that Reinhardt going extremely hard there with that nano boost ends up dying without getting. I believe he killed the uh, he killed the Roadhog. However, if you look at how far he pushed that team back, that, that gives his team a huge amount of utility. And by the time they they get their nerves back up and push back up, you know he's back he's back alive. Yeah, right now though, hi friends. He baits them into the mail. They got one frozen. They've got two. Down. But I don't think they're going to do much. They sleep the Reaper. He has ult, though, as soon as he comes back up. So they can stop this push. They can possibly stop one more push, even. 50 seconds remains on the clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if Columbia can't find a way to break UMass's Reinhardt, they're not going to take this point. And they've got maybe two good hits left in if they're quick. If they go in right now, they can get another hit in. They have to do something soon. The ults are starting to come up. They've got three. They can get a fourth up by the time they finish shoving it Reaper in. Combo Reinhardt now. is ready. They've got a little bit more. They've got two Reaper ults charging onto the point, but this looks like it's all Columbia's fight. They've got three, four, and five. Hi, friends, tries his best, but they get completely wiped off the cart. Three left on the point now. All of the other team has respawned, so this is 3v6 until they get some support. So there's still a chance that the defense can pull it out here. Nano boost Reinhardt going in. No, we say there's a chance, but that's a very big oh. earthquake. And he charges the Reinhardt off the point. He sacrifices himself. We'll see if the two other tanks can wipe this point up. And the whole hog is going to knock more of them farther and farther back. They knock the Reaper off the point. The Ana is the next one hooked in. He sleeps. But that's not enough. At this point in the game, the Earthquake has to be massive. It only lands on one, and I think this is Columbia's point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing so, play so, from Strike there. They've got hooks, they've got tanks, they've got the point, and that's and the victory. And that's the victory. So, they did cap it, but they capped it in overtime. So, what that's going to mean is that if the other team wants to win this one out, they're just gonna have to do it a little bit faster. You just get that in that point in one second quicker and you take the win. So we'll see how this pans out and I'm just kinda concerned about um UMass's or I'm not I don't remember if it was UMass or if it was Columbia, but when I was looking at their players' profiles, they only had one DPS player. I believe it was Columbia, Roar Roar is their only DPS player. So they're they're probably gonna be running triple tank comps the entire game. And We'll see if UMass can uh, identify that and draft a comp that'll counter it. Well, Bastion, Ooh, Bastion as your only yes, it, it can put out enough, I Tormium. think. I, uh, I, not, I think we're just getting trolled here, sir. I think I so, absolutely. <laughs> they're, they're making me sweat a bit. I don't know how to cast that. <laughs> I'm um, not familiar with the, uh, the Torbjorn Bastion defense. I think the best way to cast it is to go full Slim Shady, but I'm not that good at rapping, so I won't even try. Genji on defense. Oh, Genji on offense. Okay, Genji there we go. Okay. Yeah, the team the team's not flipping up there on the top. Does set me off a couple times. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, I I'd like to see this. I think that you know Genji, it's it's an alternate to the uh, the triple tank style. Instead of picking them by bringing them to the team, you bring your team to them and you just kind of disrupt the entire backline. I really like that. 
But as you were saying, I mean, the triple tank comp on defense, it seems like it's going to be run the entire time, as you said, but is that going to be enough damage on defense? I, yeah, I really don't, I don't think know. so. And I mean, Reaper obviously a very strong pick in this meta with the Ana boost, but is it really going to be able to break through a Reinhardt and a Zarya? Oh, is that an offensive Bastion? I believe that is an offensive Bastion from Cloyster. And I, I like my offensive cart. Bastion. All right, well, we'll see how this pans out. But Offensive Bastion on this first point actually is very, very strong, especially against Roadhog in particular. He can burn him down with just four or five consecutive headshots, and oh, that yeah. takes a fraction of a second. So it remains to be seen if they will actually even majorly contest this point. It's already halfway there. Strange's shield burning. Uh, as long as the Reinhardt shield from the offense holds, this is going to just keep moving in. Oh, it's very, very low, though, and at this point, Cloyster is a one-man army. He's getting jumped on from the back, though, and this Ana is disrupting all of their plans. Roar, roar, in deep, and he is <laughs> trying to keep his head up above the water. It's not oh, possible, hooked. though. The hook actually gets blocked by the cart, and Cloyster can count his lucky stars that he is still alive after that one. He gets barely healed up, and this is a very, very first quick take. Cloyster back into tank mode. Or, sorry, uh, turret mode. Oh, the turrets the one the getting Zarya burned down, but that's a Zarya very, button. very fast Zarya. And the nano boost allows her to burn down one more target. The Graviton is big, it catches four, but they don't have enough to follow up the Genji. It's there, but it's not doing enough. He doesn't have all. he doesn't have anything to finish the rest of this team off. They're still cleaning them up though. Watch on Swike, he's the only one besides this Lucio that can still do damage. Swike ulting, catches Roar, Roar but hooked and killed. An interesting strategy from that offensive Bastion, but I'm not sure if it should be something that they should still be on. Now, he does have his ultimate, so tank mode is available. However, we don't even have a Graviton for 30%. A Graviton tank form could wipe an entire team, however. So if they're willing think, to wait for that, they can get the first point with that combo. I think what, they, what they're what they going to do, and uh, I don't know if you've seen much of um, the OGN Overwatch, but they've actually used tank form offensively to bounce up and you can actually rocket jump with the tank form up onto this top point and just kind of drop full behind the entire mm. defensive team yeah he has so gone Cloyster up top, going for the flank into but turret he's form. tank form oh. and oh no he's not tank form he's just a turret and that turret cannot give five the hooks he gets a nano boost to genji for his troubles though and now that ninja is going absolutely bonkers in the back line. Roar, roar, roar. He goes for one. He gets two. Three are down. And the only one left alive is Azaria with this Lucio for support. They can't shove into the point. A minute 30 left to take it. An impressive defense from Columbia. I mean, this is typically a, a map where you see the first point fall extremely quickly. And it's just not. And, uh, you know, UMass with this weird comp. I liked it, but it just doesn't seem to be doing the job. Maybe we'll see some combos come out and they can get the first point, but they've only got a minute left. If it's, these ults it's don't work, very quickly. it's over. Now, they've got two combos now. They have the Ana and the Reaper, and they've got the Zarya and the Bastion. So, I'd be very surprised if they can't take this point out. Ooh. Yeah, it, it looks Ooh, like, like this on a will be the point for sure. I mean... They've got, of course, the tank form. They got, of course, the Graviton with the tank form as well. They do trade their Ana for a tank Reaper, though, out. and that seems Blister like a very stunned. good thing, except for when your entire team gets prisoned up in one area. It's a big, big problem when that Bastion is there. Four kills the going down almost simultaneously there. The second that Reinhardt shield dropped, it was just a four-man tank form shot and a nano-boosted Reinhardt swing just took them all out. So we'll see the first point come out here, but... uh they're still playing Bastion. I'm kind of surprised they're committing this hard on this strategy. But who knows, maybe it'll work even better here. I think it's honestly extremely good against Triple Tank. Even with there being, you know, um, nano boosting, even with there being, like, all of this just, um, you know, hook potential, ways to pick out the Bastion, I think it's very, very good against Triple Tank simply because the pure damage output it provides. We'll see if it pays off, as you said. But right now, it seems to be working out and paying in spades, except for the Gravitron, brings him into three. Dropping it is not going to be enough to protect you from Roar, Roar, Roar. He goes absolutely massive, and Strange and himself clean up the entire team, except for High Friends. Mm -hmm. yeah, very impressive defense there. Good combinations of those alts, Roar, 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 using his, the rest of his team, however, other than that Graviton, saving it. You know, having used other, other ultimates earlier in that fight, we saw a D-drop come out. And um, I'll be interested to see if 
the offense here can get their their ultimates ready in time to take this. They've got a minute. Your ass is sticking with the strat. Yeah, they're still sticking with this offensive bastion and tank form up. So Columbia reacting to it well with, by not peeking too long, but River Roar falls down. There's no DPS left for the defense here, and we'll mm -hmm. see if Bastion can make this work. No DPS, a whole hog is the only thing standing between them and ultimate destruction. The Earthquake actually gets completely blocked and then turned on its head. Swike brings down two. That was a great charge. And Roar, 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 he's back up. He's on the Genji. But what can you do against Azaria? She doesn't care if you're reflecting the shots. She's going to bring you down anyway. Yeah. And the issue with the triple tank comp being seen here, um, Roadhog kind of a pseudo DPS, but not really giving enough. So when Roar, Roar goes down, it's pretty much a white. Actually, Cloyster got slept in tank form, so he's going to get that entire thing wasted. Nano Boost Reaper, though, means that Wait, he's not going to get fully punished for it. No, that Nano Boost kind of coming out a little early, not super effective. Something you're going to need to push in on this next point. And from the defense, we see the Genji and the Ana combos both available. So we'll see if that gives them a team wipe and the, the space to hold this point. Two minutes on the clock. You know, this is the same comps through the entire time. Commitment from both teams means that this Genji will have to do so much work. He's nano boosted. He's got some, but can he find the rest? They've got the Bastion off of the cart, but they don't have the rest of their team focusing anybody. I mean, Roar Roar, he's in the back line. He's focusing on her, but the drop the beat is still keeping her alive. They've got four members versus four. This part still getting shoved in, minute 30 to play. Mm. Roar Roar's ultimate there, uh, the Dragon Blade, getting a very quick pick onto the enemy Bastion, but quickly falling into a Zarya trap and unable to get out. Yeah, you on just that see Cloyster, he's set up, he gets pulled in though. Regalium brings him down, that was really interesting. Very, very close to this Reinhardt shield. And I think as of right now, it looks like uh, Columbia might be in uh, in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of ults coming up from the offense here. We'll see if they can hold those. They do have their defensive ultimate available from that Lucio, and they have an offensive ult available from that Ana. But if UMass pulls out quickly here, it's a five man Zarya bubble. Oh, the Reaper. It's nano boosted. It is enough damage. It looks like they've got everything that they came for, even with him getting slept. This is a team Six wipe, percent. and it's just up to UMass. They're shoving the card in. Only a Tracer could get here in time. I don't think it's going to be enough. UMass pushing it in is the...